Eh kasi matagal na kaming hindi nagkakakumustahan ni Rufa G. Na G na G pa rin. Hello, Miss yeah. K. You are so beautiful and wow. you look younger than ever. Wow, thank you. I told you that I in try. the fellow event. Oo, oh, oh, I try. I try harder as I get older. <laughs> Ganon. <laughs> Ganon yun. Ang daming bago kay Rufa. Alam mo, ikaw yung talagang, ano ba yung nasa DNA mo na talaga na... Kailangan may ginagawa kang bago na pag-uusapan. Hindi ko ginagawa ng paraan para pag-usapan. Okay. Napapag-usapan na lang dahil sa mga projects na tinatanggap ko. But I think it's hindi hindi ideal na maging idol, di ba? We always have to be busy. Um, even during the pandemic, you know, I was one of the busiest at that time. Pero that's when I learned how to cook. Naging plantita tayo lahat. Oo. Doon ako nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. So... Kayo ko maging idol. Correct. Oh, yes. so, Unless I'm on vacation. Pero ano ah, pero hindi lahat ganon. I mean, you're one of them na talagang constant gardener, kung tawagin. Mm. Eto na na, nag-graduate. Yes. Bago yan kay Rufa ha. Why did you go back to school? Well, I think it was the influence of those people that loved me and that pushed me to study. Um, hindi ko akalain na makakapagtapos na ako kasi I graduated high school when I was 16. And then, ang dami na nangyari sa buhay ko. Naging beauty queen, naging artista. So, sabi ko, eh, sapat na yung kinikita ko. Hindi na siguro kailangan bumalik sa school. Uh -oh. Pero I remember during the pandemic, di ba lahat nagma-master class? I even took a short course in Yale, yung parang... Uh, the, the science of well-being. Okay, short course lang yun in two weeks. Pero um, I realized na dapat siguro tapusin ko na yung college ko kasi every time I travel, I'm always the one that's saying, yeah, guys, you know, I've been acting since I was 13. Oh, really? So what did you finish in college? Oh, no, I'm street smart. Hindi ako nakapagtapos, but I'm really smart. Oh, yeah. wow. Diba? Ah. So parang, ano yun eh, parang frustration sa akin at the same time, parang, nahihiya ako sabihin na kahit successful ako sa trabaho ko, hindi ako nakapagtapos. So, during the pandemic, I mean, there's only such an amount of K-dramas you can watch, di ba? <laughs> so, after ko manood ng mga K-dramas, sabi ko, sige, tapusin ko na to kasi, um, you know, it's something that I can impart to my kids. You know, education is very important. At pag hindi na ako busy sa industriyang to, I can move on into other things. Oh, it's in your bio data. And of course, exactly. pakita ng kids mo na tinapos mo. Oh, oh kasi oh. sabi ni Lorin sa akin, I think I'm gonna be the first one in our family that's gonna finish college. So this morning, kausap ko siya, sabi ko, Mommy, do you realize that you finished college before me? I hope! Hello! <laughs> diba? 40s na ako. Oh. So, ayun, natutuwa ako na at least they see that. And I think I'm able to inspire them. Oh, nice! So you, now you feel more confident. More confident. And diba, for me, it, hawa ko yun eh. What's the next step after show business? Diba? Kung gusto kong magtrabaho somewhere else, kailangan mo ng sufficient edukasyon right. para makapag-apply ka. Oh, Dito oh. lang naman sa showbiz ang, oh, oh. you know, anything goes. Oh, But oh. in the real world, you really need to be a graduate and they'll ask you for papers. So, I pushed it even a bit further. Talagang, kumbaga, parang unstoppable. I, I, di pa tapos yung journey. I'm now working on a master's degree also in communication arts. Oh, wow! Yeah. Congrats! Thank you. I hope you finish that. Kasi meron ng online ngayon. Meron ang online yes. ngayon. So, I'm a non-traditional student. I did everything online through the ETIAP program of PWU. And that worked for me. Before the pandemic, hindi ka nagluluto. Bago rin yan sa'yo. Hindi, bago rin yan sa akin. O, anong specialty mo? Wala. Simple lang. Steak, baked chicken. <laughs> wow! But at least I know how. Kasi I'm a single mom, di ba? I never had the luxury of being in the kitchen and mm -mm. cooking and doing my own thing. Even when I was in Istanbul, I was a wife to Ilmas then. He didn't really allow me to cook. Ah. Oh, ayaw niya yung mabaho daw yung hair ko. So, oh. ayun. Okay. So, natuto lang ako talaga sa pandemic. Talaga? Yeah. Ang daming bago. Daming bago. Ah. Ang daming bago sa'yo. At ang isa pang bago sa kanya, yung kanyang anak ngayon, sinasabi ng netizens, mag-beauty queen din daw. I know. Oh, yan ang bagong pinag-uusapan. Are you going to allow Lorin maging beauty queen then? Well, you know, if they want, it must come from them. Yung mga bata ngayon, hindi, hindi na dapat pilitin eh. Kung magaling sa kanya, mga I wanna be, um, let's say, a beauty queen, I would say, okay, sige, let's, uh, I'll push her to the right direction. Pero sa tingin ko ngayon, ayaw niya. Lorin wants to get into law, and Venice wants to sing. 
you know, I don't know where she got her voice. Definitely not for me. Totoo. Oo, oh, kasi hindi ako marunong Magaling. kumanta. Magaling kumanta si Magaling Venice. Magaling kumanta si Venice. So, oh. baka sa tatay niya, yung hidden talent ng tatay niya. Oh. Or maybe my dad. But, oh, oh. um, yeah, parang walang gusto mag-beauty queen sa kanila. Totoo. Oo, oh, ah. sabi ko nga eh, dapat mag-beauty queen na lang kayo. No, mommy. Really? Are they also tall? I'm the tallest. Because ah, I'm okay. 5'10". Oo. Oh, oh. I think the girls have to, ano... I think di pa sila tapos mag ano mag spurt. Mag, mag spurt oh. oh. Si Ilmas kasi what was how how He's tall was six. he? 6. Oh, Pero tatangkad ba, pa 'yan? Baka tatangkad pa sila. Tatangkad pa 'yan. Pwede talagang pang beauty queen. Yeah. So you're just allowing them. Ganun ka pala talagang klasing nanay. I think it's okay kasi marami nang yung pagiging beauty queen ko, it opened a lot of opportunities for me and uh, I was able to see the world. So I think if it did well for me, bakit pipigilan ko naman yung mga anak ko? Correct. So, for for me, whatever they desire, whatever they want to do in life, I should support them. Well, because you won. You know what I mean? I mean, you won. Sometimes rejection, masakit, ha? Masakit. Hindi, At hindi saka ngayon nat- nowadays, oh. diba, pag natatalo, paulit-ulit silang sumasali hanggat oh, oh. sa nananalo sila. <laughs> Back then, parang pag natalo ka, hindi na sila sumasali. Oo. Oh, oh. Nauso lang naman yun lately. But, you know, I think rejection is a form of growing, diba? Kung their ups and downs in life, and if ever they, they get rejected, then they just stand up again and do their own thing again, start okay. all over again. Ah, okay. So you're not scared na masaktan sila? Siyempre, kasama yun, ano? Kasama yun sa buhay. Masasaktan Oo. talaga sila. Kung hindi man ngayon, sa pag-ibig, I'm sure masasaktan din sila. Oo, Lahat naman totoo. tayo nasasaktan sa totoo. pag-ibig, di ba? Nako, wala pa bang mga umaali-aligid dyan? Nako, lumalabas ang pagka-Anabel Rama. <laughs> Oo, totoo ba? I think so, but you know, I think with the children now, you have to put them in a position that they're surrounded by the people mm. you want them to associate themselves mm. with, di ba? So, yun, I think um, Lorene met someone in the library na niligaw sa kanya. So, sabi ko, ay, nerd, tama yan. At least, pwede kang tulungan sa pag-aaral. Oh. Di ba, ganun? Si Venice naman, parang wala pa sa utak niya yung voice. Okay, yes. okay. So, wow, library. Library, di ba? Kesa diba? naman club, di ba? Oo naman. Huwag na sa club. <laughs> oh, pwede. Hindi sila mahilig. Correct, correct. Oh, good. Yes. Good for you. Okay, talking about your kids and about love. Ang bago pa kay Rufa G ay pinayagan mo na na bisitahin ng ex mo ang mga anak mo. Well, um, I think it came in, in time, in God's perfect time. Mm. Kasi it was 15 years since the kids saw their dad again. And there was a time na Ilmas called out of the blue and said na namimiss ko si Lorene tsaka si Venice. How are they doing? I had a dream about them. And, you know, sabi niya, oh, when are you going to visit the Philippines? This was already Venice and her dad talking. Sabi ko, you know what? Baka this is the time, di ba? Kung hindi ka makapunta sa Pilipinas, siguro naman okay at safe sila kung ipadala ko sila sa Turkey. Kasi the kids are already 18 and 19. Mm-hmm. Ang apprehensions ko naman noon is baka makidnap, baka hindi na isa uli. Pero ngayon, malalaki na yung mga bata. Oh. They can talk amongst themselves na, na wala akong inhibitions na baka makidnap sila. Yun lang naman ang takot ko noon, mm-hmm. worry. Mm-hmm. Sino and, kikidnap sa kanila? At si Ilmas, ah, diba? Pag bata pa, pag mga two years okay. old, diba? Okay, tama, tama. Hindi na sa old, four years old, baka padala ko doon, biglang, Diyos ko, di ba? Oh, Hindi na isa uli. Oh, oh. But he would always say, I'll return them. But you'll never know. But now that they have a mind of their own, ano na, it came naturally. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I guess that was either the chapter was closed na for them, na alis na yung pain, mm-hmm. na ano nangyari sa daddy namin, bakit hindi namin nakikita, um, how come he never came here or visit us again, and do they love, uh, does, does Ilmas love us? So feeling ko yung chapter na yun, ng pain sa buhay nila, nasara na. And they're able now to talk on their own. So maganda, maganda yung nangyari sa kanila. Wala na silang daddy issues. Right. Diba? Pero Kasi, may nakaramdam ka ba ng ganun habang lumalaki sila? Parang, where's dad? Oo oh, oh, naman. Yes. All oh. the time. And I remember I would even send flowers, kunyari, from Ilmas. Send to the kids na kunyari, from Ilmas, Baba loves you. This, this happened for about a year. And then sabi ko, bakit ako magkukunwari? Kung talagang walang communication, huwag na tayong magkunwari, ba? So, 
alam naman nila yung nangyari sa, sa buhay ko with their dad. That's why I always tell them, choose carefully. Huwag i- idadaan sa puro love lang. Diba? Mm. Find someone that's family-oriented, which Ilmas is actually, but God-fearing as well. You know, basta choose wisely. Learn mm. from my lessons. Correct, correct. So, alam ng mga batang nangyari? Alam nila. Alam Uh-oh. nila nagkaroon ng domestic violence and... Uh, You know, we even uh, had a campaign sa Avon, uh, violence against women and children. Mm-mm. So, alam nila nangyari. And I want them to be strong, independent women when they grow up. Diba? Yung kaya nila magtrabaho on their own. They'll be self-sufficient, not just rely on a man for career or for money. Kasi ganun ako eh. So, gusto ko ganun din sila. Bonus na lang kung magbibigay ng regalo yung yung special someone. Oo nga. Pero, so, now, between you and Ilmas, it's also, parang, bago rin, di ba? Yung yes. relationship ninyo, because you At now... At ang nakakaloka, ang dami oh. na naming fans na gusto magkabalikan kami. Parang, <laughs> alam mo, ganun yung oh. mga Pilipino eh, pag naghihiwalay, oh, oh. di ba? Parang, ay, naghihiwalay sila, o oh, tama yan, oo, mm-hmm. oh, kasi, nananakit. And then, ngayon naman, parang, ay, guwapo pa rin siya. Sana magkabalikan kayo. <laughs> Malimutan na nila yung nangyari. Oh, oh. So, parang sa akin, importante lang that we are good in terms of uh, communication. And uh, although we don't talk very often, you know, nagkukumustahan kami. Mm. I think that's the first step. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. But uh, you're not closing your doors? To a possible reconciliation yes. and love? Yes. Yes. I- Sarado na, na yun. Sarado na yun. Ano na siya? Sarado na. More of like, I'm opening my doors to the possibility of co-parenting. Ah, uh, okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah they take trips to uh, Turkey. Take trips to Turkey, the ba? Everyone say hi. Hi. Baba say hi. You oh. must do. Saying bye. Hello. Or Summer's there with me. Hair. I think napapag-usapan naman yun. Oo. Oh. I think oh, we're pwede mo sila enough. pag-shopping for you there. Like, yeah, bring your rugs. Sila. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo. Okay. Hindi na kita tatanungin sa bago mong love, ha? Kasi ayaw mong pag-usapan. <laughs> Oo. Wala. Yung tawa mo na lang ang sagot doon. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, another new thing of Rufa, na parating G na G talaga, eto medyo kontrobersyal. Ano? Ang, ay, yung pelikula. Yes. Oo, oh, oh, medyo kontrobersyal. Nakita ko na sa EDSA kanina yung mga poster, di ba? Meron na. Meron na, oo. Oh, oh. So, um, Martyr or Murder? Yes. Wow. Title pa lang, Mm-mm. ulam na, hindi ba? Hindi ka natakot tanggapin yung role? Well, ang ka- ito yung karugtong ng Made in Malacanang. Di ba ba tayo nasanay? Seven assassination attempts. Isang dosayan ng kudeta. Ano kita ka iba nito? The highest grossing Bibi film of 2022, and I think top three in the history of the Philippines. So, pinagpatuli la yung kwento. Yes, the the title is very controversial. I think Senator Aimee and our director had some issues about it. E kami naman talent lang naman, de ba? So when I accepted the project, I didn't even know it was a trilogy. I just knew that Made in Malacanang. Okay, the last three days of the Marcoses um, before they were kicked out of power. So, yun lang. And they offered me the role after the elections. Kaya, sa mga naninira, di ba, akala nila <laughs> that I was part of a victory of Bongbong Marcos, our oh. president. I wasn't. This was offered to me after he was elected. So, nanalo okay. na siya. And I was just sitting in my living room then. I think two weeks after the elections, I got the call. And so I said, sure, why not, diba? Uh-oh. I mean, I'm playing the role of uh, former First Lady Imelda Marcos. Paano ka magiging presidente kung patay ka na? Eh, pwede akong mamatay. Kahit nasaan ako. Walang mapa ang mga demonyo. Ang mga demonyo bang yan? Whether you love her, you hate her, you idolize her, she's still a very iconic individual and everyone in the world knows her. So why wouldn't I be excited to portray her? Right. So, Ayun, so, tinanggap ko. Mo. Yeah. Pero hindi ka political. I mean, hindi ka mapolitika. I have a lot of political friends. Kasi right. tayo, di ba? Right. We, we run in that circle. So, lahat sila kaibigan ko. As a matter of fact, okay. I campaigned for Senator Manny Pacquiao in the last elections. Oh, okay. And, um, but I'm friends also with the Marcoses. I'm friends with you. Yeah. I'm friends with everybody. So, right. 
I just don't want to be toxic when it comes to political um, beliefs, di ba? You know, I'll just do my own thing. And we have to go, just go with the flow. Hindi mo na ako aktivista. Oo, artista ka. Artista At tumanggap ka lang ng trabaho. Yes. Right. So, lahat ng co-stars mo dito, sino-sino ba? Hindi ba na dyan si... Cesar Montano. Cesar Montano. Ferdinand Marcos. Christine Reyes. Senator Aimee Marcos. Ella Cruz. Um... Diego Loisaga. Now there are a lot of new characters. Yes. So I think um, you know there are two sides of every story, and there's also the screenshots. So dapat panuuri na lang nila. So mainly it's their side of the story, and yes. maraming mga bagay ang hindi, matagal kasi silang hindi nagsalita. Right? Matagal, yes. And Senator Aimee kasi said in the press con, someone asked, "Bakit ngayon lang after 37 years?" And sabi niya, "Well, I didn't think anybody was interested because we were really hated." You know, nobody wanted to listen to our story. Akala, kala namin tapos na kami. And lo and behold, they're back in power. So, mm. it just goes to show na umiikot lang ang mundo. Diba? Mm. Today you're down, mm. tomorrow you can be up again. So, kailangan marunong tayo sumag sumabay sa agos ng buhay. Tama, tama. Ang daming bago. Yeah. Ang dami mong pasabog. <laughs> Puro pasabog ang life. For Rufa G. <laughs> but as you said, you're a constant gardener. At ikaw, hindi ka humihinto. Bata ka pa, marami pang mangyayari. Ganon. Oh my, I, I want to be as beautiful as you. I wonder what's next. It takes a lot. <laughs> it Tell takes me a village. later what the secret yeah, is. It takes a village. Catch the Karina Interviews episodes here on my YouTube channel, but with footage and parts of the interviews you won't see in the TV version. So we call it Karina Interviews Extra. Don't miss it after every episode.